Hi folks, Include Small Designs here. This is part one of the TACOM 135th scale Leopard C2 Mexus build. Now I have started the build, as you can see, I got some of the uh, thermal blankets on there as well as uh, the turret here. Now the turret, I didn't do this. This is from Panzer Art. So it's not like I built the turret and then, you know, put the blanket over top. This is something completely different. Um, you know, it wouldn't be me if I didn't do something completely different with my builds, right? But, um, so we're not even going to use the turret in this build at all. Um, now with the TACOM kits with the Maxis, um, there's limited videos on YouTube, but, uh, the gentleman that did build, uh, this kit had a few issues with the, with the armor attaching and whatnot, but I'm not gonna have to worry about that too much with this build, obviously. Right. But, um, I did have a few issues with the, the side skirting and things like that. Um, but, um, I'll talk to a little bit more about that a little bit later. Uh, I have built TACOM's Leopard C2. Uh, if you go back in my videos, you'll see that. Um, I didn't have too many issues with that. Mostly, I guess, with the armor going around the turret on that one, I just kind of had to, you know, place it and hold it and that kind of thing. It was just more time consuming, um, just holding the armor in place around the turret than anything else. But um, that build went fairly well. So with this one so far, it hasn't been... Uh, you know, too many hiccups other than just kind of following the instructions, but just more thinking ahead. But, um, yeah, this is the box art right here. If you're wondering what kit I'm building, um, this is more my era of uh, when I was in the forces. It's more of the Leopard C2s, Leopard C1s, that kind of stuff. So I'm more familiar with this. But um, this picture might be for more, I guess, later on. It kind of looks like an iPhone to me but we didn't have iPhones back then I can't see this really happening like especially you know a guy with a rifle and iPhone be this close to the tank that would not happen no way no way but just saying um so getting into this um extra sets uh, I recommend that you I well you know what you will need this um is this what is this? Le Legend Leopard C2 Mexus detailing set for TACOM. Um, you get a lot of goodies in this and you will need them, right? Because there's a lot of equipment that goes right into here. I can't focus in too close, but um, this is the set right there. Because a lot of equipment has to go into like the turret area right in there. Um, especially if you're doing, oh, I guess if you're just doing this, this one right here. Um, some Mexus... Um, have it open right in here this one's closed off but depending on what tank you're doing this area right here is left open this one's closed off so you're not gonna have to worry about it but um this one here is open and uh this panzer art just gives you the turret does not give you the bustle um you're just getting the turret you're getting the the hatches, which is not in this picture, but I'll show you it in, in you know another video, uh, with the thermal covers, and then obviously you're getting this with the thermal cover, and a little bit of photo etch. Now with the legend set I just showed you, you are getting some photo etched as well, and then on the underside you are getting, obviously, th this right here the turret ring. So. When you're installing it, you're going to have to kind of really even it out. And what I mean by evening it out is when you're attaching this piece here for the, the turret ring, you're going to have to get it even. Otherwise, your turret is just not going to sit right. So that's going to be a balancing act. Now, there is a bit of a, you know, not wobble, but uh, play. And there's no way of securing it. So... You're either going to have to balance it and glue it or make tabs, which I'm probably going to do. That way we can position this because if Susie flipped this upside down, plop, this thing's going to go. Now this does have a bit of weight to it, but the details are really nice. Now, when it comes time to doing, you know, the up armor, you're only going to be able to position it in that position there, which I'm assuming the barrel is going to be canted slightly up, but that's okay. It's really cool to have, uh, 
you know, the thermal blanket. Now, the thermal blanket, if you're wondering, obviously, is, uh, or is or was, to keep the crew inside relatively cooler. As, how, well, I don't think it had any anything to do with anything incoming. Um, it's to keep the crew inside slightly cooler. Yeah, I had nothing to do with anything incoming because otherwise it'll be all over the tank. But um, anyway, this has been super glued on, right? This hasn't, this is just for the driver's hatch. I just had it on there for effect. Okay. But uh, anyway, this here, the side skirting, I had to shave down the attachment points because all it wanted to do was push out and it wouldn't line up properly. As you can see, that one's kind of out a little bit. That one's lined up perfectly. I mean, I can easily just shimmy this over like this with a little bit of super glue and we're good to go. But it just, it didn't want to line up along the tank edge. And then here I had to cut in to the vent just so it would line up straight against the tank. So you're gonna have to muck with that a little bit. And it took a little time to get it nice and straight because it just kind of wanted to scoot out like this or actually wanted to scoot out like this, right? Because it was just too much material. So that kept on canting in like this. So you can just imagine it going like this. So if you just left it, it would rub against the, the tracks. So, you know, a lot of farting with, but now it's nice and straight. So we're good to go. So I got all the armor on the sides. These were easy. And as you can see, there's the photo etch. The instructions were pretty vague on where to put the photo etch, but that's that. And then I got the, once these pieces were on, the two side armor pieces on, I put the front armor on, shimmied it up so that way the lines were a little more even. And then put this armor on and we were good to go. And of course, I got the thermal blankets on. And then I'll just easily paint over top of that because the thermal blankets are more of a, like a sandy color. So I can just use my oils and paint those on. And then I have done too much with the, the lower hull. I've just put a few of the idle wheel things on and uh, that's pretty much it. But as you can see, I got a nice fit. For the armor it's nice and straight that one can't in just a little bit but like I showed you before once I get the super glue on that edge it'll come out that's the only fit issues I've had so far with this and of course like I said with the bustle rack this is from Tacom that set does not come with one if you're wondering so that was a bit um, a bit tricky to get on, more so because the instructions that Panzer gives you, it's a little, you took, to look at it, it's just like, oh, how does that really go on? Because that's it, right? That's the instructions and the parts they give you. A little bit of photo etch and the turret. So you're kind of looking at this going, hmm. But once you figure it out. So yeah. Definitely recommended, nice, crisp, and then definitely get that set because you are gonna need a lot of that equipment to uh, to make it look the part, right? And then if you want, there's an aftermarket barrel. And then you just add the parts you need for that. And then if you want some aftermarket decals, there you go. Actually, that's not aftermarket, that's Tacom. Oh, okay, my, my, my mistake. Uh, you can get some Echelon ones too, which I do have. So Tacom does give you some decent decals. But I do like the I Love Alberta Beef. But uh, I have a set just like this from Tac or from uh, Echelon. So cool, good on you Tacom, you fooled me. So anyhow guys, um, that's how this one's coming. It's um, a little bit of sanding. A little bit of smoothing, a little bit of fitting, but uh, so far she's building up nice. 
and um, I do have a lot of Canadian content uh, forthcoming. So stay tuned and thanks so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye.